What's good, yo? It's your boy, Coke Gaddy, coming at y'all with another video. In this video, we're going to get into my predictions for North Carolina season. Before we start, hit that like and subscribe button, and let's ride. All right, North Carolina last year made a made a great run. I mean, had a good year. A lot to build off of. Some people uh, say losing them running backs and receivers and all that is going to kill them, but I don't think so. Mac Brown is a the man's a legend for a reason. And uh, since he's been in North Carolina, North Carolina's been on the up and up. Sam Howe is a great quarterback. So as long as you got that great coach, great quarterback, you know, you can put pieces around there and you can make things work. I don't know if they're going to be making no run for no national title or nothing, but definitely uh, definitely going to have a great year this year. So starting out the season, they play Virginia Tech. And I was contemplating this. I know Blacksburg is a hard place to play, and for some reason, I keep forget. I keep looking at Virginia Tech like they're under Beamer, and that hasn't been the case for a couple of years now. And you can see it when you look back at those couple of years. So I got North Carolina winning that game. Then they play Georgia State. I got them winning that, of course. Then they're gonna be playing Virginia. They'll win that game, Virginia. Is Virginia, this ain't, you know, basketball or lacrosse. Well, basketball, North Carolina might still win. But anyways, that's off topic. Then they go play Georgia Tech. Definitely going to win that game. Then they play Duke. They'll win that. Then they play Florida State. That should be a pretty close game. Good game to watch. But I got North Carolina getting the W. Then they play against Miami. That's going to be a big-time game. That's going to be the game that basically decides the division and who goes to play Clemson. And I, it's going to be a good one. But Sam Howell, to me, is over Derek King. He trumps him. I do believe that Miami probably has the more talented roster. But I think North Carolina is the better team. So I got North Carolina pulling out the win there. Could be an ugly win. Who knows? But I got them getting the win. Then they play Notre Dame and South Bend. And I got them losing that game. You know, you, you're running the table right now. You just come off the big game against Miami. Boom. Then you face Notre Dame. I got Notre Dame beating you. I, I won't be surprised if North Carolina is winning that game because I don't feel like Notre Dame is going to be no real uh, you know, contender this year. But I just feel like that's going to be one of them, uh, you know, fuck-up games. You know, you're you, 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 you you're looking ahead. You're not prepared. Whatever the case I got Notre Dame winning that game. Then they go to play Wake Forest. They bounce back with a win against them. Then they play Pitt. You got them getting a win right there. Then they play Wofford. Come on, that's going to be a win. Then they close the season up against North Carolina State. I got them winning that game. It'll probably be a close game. I, got, I, I think North Carolina State's going to be pretty good this year. I don't know if they'll... Be good enough to compete um, and contend for the ACC title, especially not since they're over there with Clemson. But they are going to be a good team, so I do believe that'll be a good game. But I got North Carolina finishing off with a win right there. So that gives them an 11-1 record. That's pretty fucking good. Undefeated in division play. So they'll definitely get the shot at the uh, ACC title against Clemson. And then if they can win that, then they'll definitely get a playoff spot. But make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Got more videos on the way. It's your boy, Coke Gotti, and I'm out.